What's up Bakugan fans? Platinum Bakugan are here, Bakugan with true metal built into them. We've got Pyrus Nilius, Ventus Sectanoid, Arliss Dragonoid, Chaos Blitz Fox, and Aquas Warrior Whale in Platinum. So we're gonna unbox every single one of these and check out what makes that Platinum true metal technology so cool. Being a Platinum Bakugan, Ventus Sectanoid is shown off in Strength Mode, as opposed to Regular or Speed Mode. The metal really does give these Bakugan a lot of power, so let's open it up so we can roll it out. Look at all the different hues and shades on Sectanoid. Yellow, red, green, translucent green. Incredibly cool, and I bet it's only gonna look cooler once it's open. So let's roll it out. Bakugan Brawl! Hey, Ventus Sectanoid! Really interesting design, big translucent wings, mosquito nose, uh, bug eyes. And by the looks of it, only 100 B power. I wonder what it has to balance out those low numbers. Aha, uh -huh, see it's got some of the new character card symbols on it. If you land him on his magic shield, you get to add another core from the field, or if you land him on a normal shield, you get to steal your opponent's Baku core or gate card. That's cool, very powerful, and with 7 damage, that only balances it out a little bit more. Different Bakugan have so much variety in how their stats are balanced. Meaning whichever Bakugan you use in your team is going to have a huge impact on how that team is going to perform, and whether or not you're going to win. Let's roll it one more time. This might be my favorite look for Sectanoid, it, it really looks cool. <laughs> Kinda rolls over, that round back really lets him fall off of gate cards, but ah. Bakugan Brawl! Oh yeah, see, even though he rolls over, he's still able to grab that core, so he's probably better for the core version than the uh, gate card version. Anyway, that's Sectanoid. Let's move on. Next up, Chaos Platinum Blitzfox. Blitzfox is one of my favorite new Bakugan, and this is the first Chaos one that I've seen. Let's open it up! Blitzfox is not a diamond Bakugan, even though they look very, very much like one. It's just Chaos, so it has a similar clear plastic. Oh, those gleaming platinum parts. All these teal parts you see, these are metal. Like, solid metal. Like, metal. Let's see how Blitzfox rolls. Bakugan Brawl! Blitzfox, stand! First try. Bakugan, stand! They've even put some paint over on those little metal bits. Oh gosh, that looks so good. 400 B power, right there on her tail. Blitz Fox, the mystical nine-tailed fox. Now emblazoned with the faction of light. Check this out, this one actually has two metal pieces. It's got the metal rear and the metal front piece, and they fit together to create a really nice central weight balance when it's closed up, which makes it roll really straight because it gets kind of a gyroscopic effect. There you go. Platinum Bakugan are a little bit of a double-edged sword, because sometimes when you roll them, if you roll them with a lot of force, they can pop right off of the core or gate card that they landed on, but sometimes you're gonna want that extra weight to get extra power on the roll so your opponent can't overpower you or block you. 400 B power, 7 damage just like Sectanoid, uh, no extra effects but double magic shield. That's always good to have, magic shields are the most powerful core, so it's always cool when you can have a bunch of them on your team. Next Bakugan, Aqua's Platinum Warrior Whale, a mean looking killer whale, sometimes called an orca. Not gonna waste your time, let's check it out. Check out that hazy blue plastic. Only some hints of the metal piece on Warrior Whale that'll be revealed once it actually pops open. Bakugan Brawl! Aqua's Warrior Whale stand! I was doing a wheelie! Ooh, a really solid metal piece on this one, really heavy. I cannot describe how good the weight of a Platinum Bakugan feels. Yeah, look at that blue and ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yes, finally a 1000 B power Bakugan. Now that is properly strong. 
Warrior Whale has such a simple but really, really evocative design. Yeah, I can use big words like evocative. Yeah. Let's check out the stats. There's that 1000 B power, epic looking art, one damage, and a brand new effect that I have never seen. That little V stands for Victor, which means if you win a brawl and you have the highest B power, then that effect activates. In this case, you get to steal the core of your opponent, which is really interesting for something that happens at the end of the turn. Gosh, he's got a mean face. Oh, that boy can chomp. Next! Arless Platinum Dragonoid, in strength mode, featuring true metal, really rich golden color on this rare Arless Bakugan. Let's check it out! Be free. Be free! This is the first Arless Platinum Bakugan I've taken a look at. The plastic they've used almost has this like metallic flake inside of it that really shines and sparkles in the light. That's very, very cool. And then the metal part has almost a copper look to it. It looks like a shiny new penny, but like a gold penny. Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Sand! Alright! Oh, that's cool, you can actually see some of the raw metal inside. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool! The wings, the head, the tail, the legs are not metal, but still, all that metal gives it such a... such a weight. Let's roll it again. This one seems to pop open pretty okay on gate cards. Yeah, that one does not roll off, because the tail is there to stop it. See, unlike Sectanoid. See, where it stands, it just rolls on this one, the tail stops in its tracks, making it very good for the gate version of the game. Oh wow, see the tail even- it actually popped- hold on, go- do that in slow motion. The tail- it actually popped off and the tail pushed it back onto the gate car. That's cool performance. Stats another 1000 B power with 2 damage this time, but in exchange for that extra damage, it's only helixes rather than the slightly stronger magic shields. Helixes give you a pretty good B bonus, but sometimes they'll lower your damage. Again, there's Dragonoid emblazoned in strength mode. Strong mode. Strong mode. Bakugan Brawl? Yes! Ooh, consistent. Alright, and for our next and final Bakugan! Pyrus Platinum Nilius, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And it really pops in that bright red pack through that amazing, amazing box art. Unboxing time! Ugh. Oh, that's such a bright red, that looks so good, especially paired with that cool gold platinum body. I love how much color variety there is this year, it makes every Bakugan in your collection stand out as a unique collectible toy. That looks so good already, I, I almost don't want to open it, but I gotta, it's time. Here we go, Pyrus Nilius, first roll. Bakugan Brawl! Pyrus Nilius, stand! Yes! Bakugan, stand! So there's head one, there's head two, there's head three. Every head of Nilius has his own personality and its own abilities. Oh, he's even got arms down there, you can see. That's so sick. Oh man. I mean, every single one of these Bakugan looks amazing, especially next to each other. You get these really great vibrant colors facing down. I am going to have some very, very cool battles with these Bakugan. Bakugan Brawl! Yes! This has the same effect as that last Dragonoid, where these feet flip down to the tail of their side, and that keeps him a lot more stable on a gate card. It's gonna make it harder for other Bakugan to hit it and knock it out as well. 200 B power, but with the special ability to knock off your opponent's core if you land on a green fist. I think Milius looks, honestly, best in Pyrus. Of any faction, he looks the best in Pyrus. There's just something about three fire-breathing dragon heads that way beats one fire-breathing dragon head. Sorry, Drago. There we go. Five new Bakugan, 
five new character cards, a bunch of Baku cores, and of course, five new gate cards. Check them out, I'm gonna go through real quick. You can pause the video if you wanna see the stats. These are all super cool gate cards, many of which will activate these effects when you land on them. And of course, Bakugan Evolutions is on Netflix now, so you can check it out and see what the new season has to offer. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, get Baku hunting, and I'll see you next time, Bakugan fans. Full episodes of Bakugan are now streaming on Netflix. Watch more videos below.